and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show how to launch an Ubuntu uh, desktop instance in a Google Cloud. I have logged in, in my account and previously I make a test with one instance that is still running and I can stop it. Meanwhile, I have even a tutorial that is uh, from Ubuntu that shows step by step how to create an instance in Ubuntu and how to um, how to connect with a with a Chrome remote desktop, your virtual virtual machines that is running desktop uh, Ubuntu. We're gonna go step by step, but first we're gonna go to create our instance. So we do a refresh. We go to create instance. We choose instance desktop. Two, since I previously created one, uh, we choose the region. We live in Oregon. It's recommended to choose the region that is close to your area where you live, for so it doesn't have latency or any delay in in your connection. A2, and then in the machine type, I'm going to choose A2 medium. Uh, you, it is. Uh, it offers uh, the basic uh, size for running a desktop Ubuntu in instance. The memory is four gigabyte and is uh, one to two CPU, which which is the the less requirement uh, size for your memory and for your CPU to run your uh, Ubuntu desktop uh, operating system. Then we scroll down. And we go to boot disk. Here we choose Ubuntu. And we choose the version. And the size, it is the provision here is recommended from 20 to 30. So we leave 30. We select it. And we can see here that generates even the price for each configuration that we choose. Firewall here is not recommended since we are not uh, building any application. We're just going to show how to run an instance in Ubuntu desktop and how to do the provisioning or the connection. We create it. Uh, all my instances are running in this project, my first project. And if you want to create a new project, you can create a new project and select in which one you want to run your instance. It's going to take some time for your instance to run. So our instance now is running. It has an external IP and the status is green, which means it's running. We go to SSH connection and we open a browser. And we go to our tutorial and here creates Step by step, it shows how to create an Ubuntu desktop instance. And it shows even how to create from the from, from your terminal. It gives all the information about how to run a command and how to create from your terminal the instance. And now here, after we have run the instance, we have to install the remote desktop and also to do the installation of your Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu uh, desktop operating system. We are logging in our, in our account. The first we do an update. We run it. And then here is the ta the th uh, we have to do the installation of the task Taskal is a Debian or Ubuntu tool that installs multiplier related packages. So uh, after we do the update, we're going to install the Taskal. We copy the command. And it was running normally. Then we have to download and to install the uh, Debian Linux Chrome Remote Desktop. So we can copy both of the commands and they're going to start running one by one. We run it.
and we can open ChatGPT. Since it's a very powerful tool, we use I use this tool to solve different problems or to solve dif different issues. Uh, so now the command is running. And now is the time to install our Ubuntu desktop. It's going to take some time, maybe even 15 minutes. It's a long process that needs to download all the files and to make your operating system ready to run. It's almost ready, so it's almost finishing the configuration. So now it's installed and after that we have to set your Chrome desktop session to use Genome which is the default desktop environment for Ubuntu. We're going to try to copy paste this command. If you want to go, let's try it. So permission denied. Let's copy this, all this error and let's go to ChatGPT. have permissions to write to the file in Linux system writing the file typically require root or super user 
so it's Huda Bosch. Let's copy. So it's run with no problem. Just correcting the just correcting the the mistake and written or copy when you copy paste your comment from the tutorial, and then it's time to reboot your instance. After we reboot, the instance is gonna lose the connection, but in a few seconds it's gonna come back. So now we are connecting our instance after the reboot was performed. And after we have done all the configuration inside our instance, let's wait to do the connection. So the instance is ready now. It has all the installation. And after we have done all the installation and the requirement stubs that they are specifying in the tutorial, now it's time to use the Chrome Remote Desktop service. Um, we can go to this link. I'm going to share this, the link of this tutorial in the description of the video. So now here is the link where you can use the Chrome Remote Desktop to connect your instance. It's here show step by step how to do the and how to do the connection and the provisioning of the instance. We go to the VS Setup SSH. We go back, begin, beginning, and next, and authorize and then we copy this code here and we go to the instance and this is going to generate us the possibility to run uh, to create a password we create the password and now is successfully created after this uh, you have created a password. Now we have to verify the Chrome Remote Desktop service is running in our instance. We can copy and we go to the instance. We run it and we see that it's active. So our remote, the Chrome Remote Desktop is running. Now we are ready to do the connection. After we have done all this um, setup of the SSH, we go to the remote access. And here is the name of our instance, Instance Desktop 2. This is actually the one that we have been provisioning and also running the, uh, doing the configuration of the Ubuntu desktop. And now it shows here to do the remote access. We connect it and we have to set the pin the one that we created. We do the connection and here we are. We are connecting our instance. The provisioning was done successfully. And here you can do some kind of configuration if you want, um, or you can disconnect the section. Uh, or there are some more elements that you can read carefully uh, when you want to do different configurations and to uh, or to upload files or different kind of uh, options that the Chrome desktop connection give. This is basically the basic thing that I wanted to show through this video. And uh, after you have connected, you can do the installation and also even to recognize your mouse and your uh, keypad in, in your uh, desktop Ubuntu operating system in your instance. And you can uh, do different installations or depends for the reason why you are using this instance.